welcome back so in my last session I talked about uh, uh, how we can do test execution on your docker machine so we did a selenium grid setup and we did an installation sorry uh, test execution through selenium grid on my different browser so I used this chrome debug and node debug uh, sorry uh, firefox debug okay and why use why I use debug because as I said if I'm doing any test execution I will not see see any UI okay so if you want to see any UI of your test execution or what is happening on your docker machine okay then what you need to do is you need to just get this VNC server okay so if you go to this URL on realvnc.com okay so realvnc.com so VNC is your virtual network computing system which will allows you to get the remote access okay so what you can do is you can just download your VNC connect okay so you need two things you need uh, like if you are doing it on your local machine see if you are doing it in an organization you must be having this VNC connect server setup already okay you just need VNC viewer okay but if you are doing it on your local machine or if VNC server setup is not done already you just need to download this VNC connect from here which is your VNC server okay VNC server for your Windows okay so based on your operating system you can get it okay so here you can get it for Windows Mac Linux Solaris X so you can get it based on your need so if server is not installed you need to get your server first okay and once your server is installed okay VNC server because in order to view you need to connect to the server first okay so once your server is installed you can get the VNC viewer from here again you can get it for different your OS okay and you can get the respective versions okay so you can just download the VNC viewer <coughs> excuse me and you can install it the installation will be uh, like both for your server and viewer it's all the installation will be with all the default selected options nothing to change anywhere okay so once these setups are done okay if you go in your uh, uh, search you will find VNC viewer okay something called as VNC viewer okay so I'll just launch this VNC viewer okay and here you need to enter the VNC server address okay where you want to connect with okay and from where we can get this address if you go to the same docker page okay docker selenium page on selenium hub selenium HQ okay and if you go at some bottom somewhere you should find the details okay so here are the details for vnc view using real vnc uh, if you are using it then you need to use the address 127.0.01 and your port okay so let me just copy it and enter it over here okay but what is my port my port is something different okay what is my port i so that's the reason i exposed an another port here it is uh, let us say I want to connect to Chrome, so I will be using this port 32768. Three two seven six eight. Okay, let me just hit connect. Now it is asking me for some password. Okay, and the password is present on this page itself. Okay, so that's some secret password. Uh, here it is. Okay, when you are prompted, password is secret it's in real secret you just need to copy this secret and paste it over here or enter secret simply so just hit ok and you can see now you are connected ok and you can see some linux linux symbol ok so this is the place where your actual test execution will happen ok see th this is where i connected to my chrome browser ok because uh, my chrome was running on this port Chrome was running on this port. If I want to see Firefox, then I will again connect with this particular port. Okay, so you can do both the connections simultaneously. No issues. You can launch again another VNC viewer and connect both the, uh, or even you can enter it here itself. What's that URL? It is six nine. That is six nine. Okay, if I hit enter again again my password is secret and here you can see now I am connected to to 
servers okay on my different with my different ports okay so my test execution is going to happen on 68 okay because I am doing execution on my chrome okay so let me go to give me a second let me close this 69 I don't want this okay now let us go here and let us do our test execution let us right click run as test ng test and simply observe this your vnc viewer okay so last time we didn't saw anything okay and now this time let us see if i get anything because my test execution will happen on this port now can you see the chrome browser is launched chrome is being controlled by automated test software it's a chrome browser and it is navigated to automationtalks.com and the title will get captured and the title will get printed over here okay can you see test one is completed now it has launched browser again for my test case 2 so that's what if you want to see something what is happening on your docker uh, docker images which you install you need to have this vnc viewer which will connect to vnc server and uh, you need to give the port which is exposed by this uh, the, the command capital p hyphen capital p okay the third test case execution is in progress right so that's it all my three test cases are executed okay so this is how we can execute the test cases now let us do one thing let me push this code on uh, github so that i can trigger a build from Jenkins let me log into Jenkins as well Eclipse workspace let me push my code let me go to my project dummy GUI 1 ok my push is successful yes it is successful ok now what I will do is uh, my code is pushed so what will happen is when I will trigger a build from here so I, I already configured this job right so you can watch my earlier videos how I configured ok so what my this particular job is doing it is uh, getting the code from this github repository and then it is doing a code scan and then it will do the execution now how will how it will do the execution it will do the execution on my docker machine okay so now i have triggered the build okay uh, let us go to the console let us wait for the execution now you should see again the actual execution happening on your docker machine through your vnc viewer
okay my code scan is completed now the jenkins builds are running Okay, can you see the execution is started and you can see the Chrome browser is launched on my Docker machine. We can observe it in VNC Viewer. Okay, so my test execution is done. All three test cases execution is done. Three test cases are passed, and now it will shoot an email to me. So there is uh, nothing in this VNC viewer now because the execution is completed. Okay, so whenever it will launch something on this particular port, you can see that particular UI over here. Okay, so that's how we can do the execution on my Docker machine. Okay. Okay, so that's how we can uh, do the test execution on Docker machine through my uh, continuous integration pipeline. Okay, and I can do a quick view by using this VNC viewer. Okay, so uh, the the advantage of using Docker here is uh, it, it takes a very less time to do the environment setups otherwise doing the environment setup for testing uh, is, is, is uh, like uh, developer faces some challenges uh, maybe with respect to time with respect to infrastructure they find the challenges okay so uh, this is the big advantage of using this uh, containerization platform to do all the setups okay so that's it for this video uh, we'll be talking more about uh, docker docker foil composer and all in coming few videos thank you